I'm asking which one is more bigger, CD4 or CD8? CD4 is a leader. Give order to other cells, okay? CD4 is a leader. Okay, see what's the difference between them? CD8 moving here and there. CD8, CD8 searching for antigen. CD8 searching for antigen, looking here and there. Every time moving in our body, okay? So what is CD4? CD4 just living in headquarter. CD4 living in headquarter. Someone come to help in office like this. CD4 just living in office. What is the office? What is the headquarter? Lymph node. CD4 not going out of lymph node. Understand? If you have some problem, you come to my office. Okay? I'm not coming out. Clear or not? Who is the leader here? CD4. So CD4 just sitting in lymph node and macrophage dendritic cell B cell now they they capture the antigen okay then they moving toward the lymph node. Knock the door. Oh lymph node is high macrophage here. You have something wrong? Yes, I want to meet with CD4. Any problem? Yes, I want to present antigen. It's just a request to CD4. Understand? So who is the leader here? CD4. CD4 not moving out. CD4 just living in the lymph node. Antigen presenting cell. You have some problem. Yes, in my in my tissue, I, I, there one invader there damaging the cell. I have their particles, okay? And these are the particles. Please do something. Please do something. It's just like a request. Antigen presenting cell just, just doing, uh, just presenting the antigen and requesting to CD4 cell, please do something. Ah, CD4 cell living in headquarters. Understand you, who is the leader here? Just sitting in one room and, and receiving the application like this. So what is CD4? CD4 just moving here and there, here and there, looking for antigen. CD4 moving in full body and looking for antigen. And antigen coming toward the CD4 cell. That's the difference. Understand? CD8 cell. CD8 cell. You must recognize antigen by yourself. CD4 cell, they receiving antigen from the antigen presenting cell inside the lymph node. Okay, lymph node far from the tissue. Then who give to an antigen? Who give antigen? Antigen presenting cell moving toward the lymph node and then knock the door of lymph node and then present antigen. Understand the difference between CD4 and CD8? That's a big difference here, okay? But CD4 cell, they receive antigen from antigen presenting cell. These antigen presenting cell, they travel, okay? They're traveling toward the lymph node and then they present antigen inside the lymph node. This is the difference. They present antigen inside the lymph node. They're moving toward the lymph node. Then CD4 cell take a decision what we do. Take a decision what we do, clear? And give order to CD8 cell or give order to macrophage or give order to natural killer cell for killing or give order to B cell uh, to produce antibody. Then CD4 cell decide, understand? So they take decision like this. So how, how about the CD8 cell? CD8 cell, they circulate two, three times in the body and looking for virus infected cell and tumor cells. If any cells there, they recognize by their self, okay? They recognize by their self. So any cell express MSE1, they recognize them and find them, capture them, kill them like this. So this is CD8 function. So CD8 just moving here and there, just moving for a short time, for some rest, again come to lymph node. CD4 cell again give order, go, go out of lymph node, again circulate in your body, it's your duty, okay? It's your duty to search virus infected cell. So every time running and keep on running, keep on running, this is a CD8. Who is regulating your immune system? CD8? No, just CD4. So CD4 is a lead, like a leader, just sitting in lymph node, one room, just receiving application of antigen, virus antigen or bacterial antigen. So someone coming to present and to present antigen, okay? So it's not moving. CD4 cell not moving like this, clear? Just inside the inside the lymph node. Okay, let's see. It's the way of presentation of antigen. And what the difference between the structure? We have two changes. 
alpha and beta k. How many domain inside the memory one? Alpha one, alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, beta two. Okay. So here the chain alpha and beta chain. Alpha and beta chain. Clear? So there's two 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 chains here. This is the critical. What are the genes for MRC two? D P D Q D R. D P D Q D R. H L A D P H L A D Q H L A D R. The three genes for these three genes for MRC two. H L A B A H L A A A H L A H L A B H L A C. These three genes for MSC one. Understand the difference between them. MSC. Mm. What is the location of MSC two? MSC two only present on antigen presenting cells. See? Yeah? Only present yes. on MSC presenting cell. How MSC two present antigen to uh, to CD four cell? They present on macrophage. Macrophage moving toward the lymph node, then present antigen to headquarter of CD4 cell. Clear? So CD4 cell they not circulating everywhere. They just living in one room. They receive application of antigen from the antigen presenting cell. They present antigen. Clear? And how about the CD8 cell? You search by yourself. CD8 cell you search by yourself. Uh, it's like that. So who is the bigger CD4? Now you understand. Okay, let's see what happened when antigen is there. Antigen recognition done. Antigen recognition done. What happened next? Okay, T cell receptor and MSC primary signal. This you know. Okay, secondary signal transduction message into the cell. Okay, what happened inside the cell? IP3 pathway. I know cytol triphosphate. IP3 actually increase the calcium inside diacyl glycerol. It's a it's a endogenous pathway. Okay, second messenger system. IP3 pathway increasing what calcium inside the cell. So this calcium activate calcineurin. Calcium activate calcineurin. Calcineurin give message to DNA. Calcineurin give message to DNA to produce what interleukin two. This interleukin two. Interleukin two doing what? Interleukin two acting on CD four cell. Interleukin two acting on CD eight cell. CD eight cell, CD four cell. Acting on CD four cell. Then CD four cell. One CD four cell change to two. One CD four cell change to two. Clear? And one CD four cell become memory cell. And another another CD four cell doing doing the job. Okay. So one cell change to memory cell. Another cell changed. Another cell still doing the job like this. Okay, this uh, how what happened here. So here see another clinical here. Cyclosporin. What is cyclosporin? This is a tumor suppressing T cell suppressing drug. Okay, this we use in graft uh, when we when the patient receive transplantation because you, you know our immune system can reject that transplanted organ. So to suppress the T cell, so we can use cyclosporin. Okay. To prevent graft rejection, so cyclosporin doing what? Calcium activate which thing? Calcineurin. Calcineurin. Calcineurin give message to DNA to produce interleukin two for activation, full activation. What we do here? Cyclosporin block this calcineurin, so no message going to DNA, no activation, no activation, no activation, no rejection to prevent. To prevent graft rejection, we're using cyclosporin. Okay. To prevent graft rejection, we're using cyclosporin. What is cyclosporin? Cyclosporin suppress the T cell. Cyclosporin suppress the T cell activation. Understand? Cyclosporin prevent the production of interleukin two, block calcium. This is site of action for cyclosporin. How cyclosporin is working? Okay. Cyclosporin is a drug. Cyclosporin is the drug suppress your immune system. Inhibit calcineurin. We use for graft rejection prevention. Okay, this is the full story of T cell. How the T cell produced from bone marrow then enter to just a review. Okay, enter to thymus. In the thymus, what happened? In the thymus, the education there, thymic education. Enter to thymic school, thymic education. In thymic education, what's going on there? Selection, okay. 
you are selected for our defense military system. You are not selected for our defense, like negative selection and positive selection. Negatively selected cell, negatively selected cell, they are killed by positively selected cell because negatively selected cell, they can start autoimmune disease, understand? So after this selection, maturation done, education done, now it's time to go for job, okay? When education done, your education done, you of course you're searching for some job. The job, time for job. Where I go? You go to that city, you go to that city, you go to that city. So what a city here? Different type of tissue in our body, okay? Different type of tissue in our body. So every tissue, uh, close neighboring, having they having lymph node structure there. All the educated, educated T cell, okay, not uh, like illiterate T cell, okay? Well, educated T cell, positively selected T cell, they're moving to lymph node and then they're living there. Understand? Then they're living there. And the CD8 cell from them, they circulate in the body and going out of lymph node. And why are they going out? CD4 cell, give them message, go and search any virus infected cell, any tumor infected cell, okay? Then CD8 cell, looking for antigen, okay? Inside different tissue, every time circulating, every time circulating. And CD4 cell, because CD4 cell is a leader of immunity, okay? CD4 cell living inside the lymph node. And then if anything wrong in our body, some infection there, so macrophage, dendritic cell, B cell, these three cells, okay? They receive antigens from the outside and then they're moving toward, then they're moving toward the lymph node and they present antigen to, they present antigen to CD4 cell, okay? CD4 cell, then what happened? Activation or next step, activation of T cell. How activation? Primary signal for activation. Secondary signal for activation. They're full active. They release cytokines. Okay, what cytokine? Interleukin 2, interleukin 4, interleukin 5, gamma interferon. It depends upon what is the situation, what type of infection there, okay? They give message to B cell to produce antibody. They give message to CD8 cell, go and directly kill that cell. They give message to macrophage, go and directly kill that cell, clear? This is how our immunity is working beautifully. Understand? It's all story about T cells, how they're working. Clear? Uh, it's an for to the class, inshallah. Tomorrow we'll discuss about uh, B cells, okay? Uh, today I have uh, my one interview online at 11.30 here, now 11 o'clock. So I will prepare for that interview. Okay, see you tomorrow, inshallah. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, if you have any questions, thank you, sir. You can tell thank me. you so much. Also, okay, you guys sir. still now uh, well understood about immunology, yeah? Yes, yes. We are getting yes. immunology. Uh, it's interesting subject. It's not a boring subject. It's really interesting subject. Yes. Uh, it's just a, like uh, like a military defense. Uh, very same thing. Okay, see you guys, inshallah.